Hello, my name is Alyssa Krusel and I'm a Community Engagement Specialist with the City of Fridley. I'm here to show you how to use a new online interactive city parks map. The map has information about all of the different amenities that we have at each city park as well as walking and biking trails in the city. This interactive parks map is also mobile friendly so you can use it on your phone even when you're out walking in the city and playing in the parks. We hope you enjoy this new map. So in order to find the new City of Fridley Interactive Parks map, you're going to head to the City of Fridley website. And at the top here, you're going to scroll to Community, and then you're going to head to City Maps. So click on City Maps. It's going to take you to um, the map interface. And as you can see, we have a couple of city maps here. We have one about pollinator gardens. And then, of course, we have the new Fridley Interactive Parks map. So go ahead and click on that, and it's going to load. So every time you come into the map, you're going to see this welcome screen or this splash screen. And as you can see, there's a little welcome message. Um, it says explore 40 plus parks with all of our unique amenities. Um, click on the city logo to find the right park for your activity. If you don't want to see this message every time you open up the parks map, you can click do not show this splash screen again um, and then click, click OK. And it's going to take you into the map. So as you can see, we are in the map now, and in order to move around in the map, you can just take your mouse and drag it around. If you want to scroll in, you can use the little rolly thing on your mouse, scrolling out. Otherwise, there's an arrow, zoom in arrow down at the corner here, and a zoom out arrow as well. This park map is very mobile friendly, so you can use it when you are out in the parks um, on your cell phone. It's especially great because you won't have access to a desktop computer or a laptop. So as you're walking in the parks or walking along the trails in the city, you can use this on your mobile device. So down in the corner here on the parks map is kind of where we get all of our different user buttons. So the first one here is going to be the map legend, and this is going to show you what everything means on the map. So every um, yellow dot here is a city of Fridley Park. Um, there's walking and biking facilities, sidewalk, city trails, county trails, uh, park recreation paths, dedicated on-street bike lanes, and then of course canoe launches. So if you're ever looking for what something is, you can see. So if we scroll in down here, here's a canoe launch here. If you're looking to get from one park to another using various trails, you can see all of the trail systems that are color coded here and, and what they mean. Anytime you open up one of these uh, park feature icons, if you want to exit out, you can click the little uh, X right there and exit out of them. One of the next buttons that we have down here is a reserve facility buttons. So you can um, reserve any of the recreation uh, facilities that we have in the city. So it's going to ask you to click on reserve a facility and it's going to take you to a new window. And it's going to take you to all uh, the Perfect Mind Parks and Recreation software where you can see the facility booking information right here. Once again, um, if you want to exit out of this Reserva Facilities tab, you can go ahead and click the Exit Out button right there. The I button down here signifies the About section. So this is just going to tell you if you have any questions or corrections to this map, you find an error, uh, you can go ahead and email gis at fridleymn.gov and someone will get back to you with your question or concern about the map. The explanation marking right here is report a problem. So if you see something that should be fixed when you're out in a park, you can go ahead and click on this link right here and it's going to take you to Map Feeder Connect in a new window and you can report a concern. So if you're at a park and you see a swing that's broken or some vandalism, that's where you can go ahead and report that concern. This icon right here that looks like a map is where you can change the base map. So what the what the map actually looks like. There's two options. There's this illustrated view right here called mid-century map and that's the view that we're in right now. Otherwise there's the imagery version as well and this gives you more of kind of like a satellite version of of the parks. This 
version is really great for you to actually zoom into the park and see where everything is located. So as you can see here, we're right above Commons Park and you can see where the parking lots are, where the ball fields are. You can zoom in and see the playground, the tennis courts. You can see what the actual street path looks like, the walking paths look like. It just gives you a lot more details about the park, whereas opposed to the mid-century view, uh, we're still on Commons Park, but you just see it as this green space. But if you want to see more details about the park, where the playground is specifically, you can go ahead and use this imagery view as well. And one of the coolest things about the map is the ability to all see all of the different amenities that our parks have. So if you click the City of Fridley logo, you can do this find a parks with section and you can toggle on and off these different amenities at the park. So if you want to find a park with uh, a playground and you want to find a park with, um, let's see, maybe a basketball court because you have one kid that likes basketball and one kid that wants to play on the playground. You can toggle on and you can see these are all the parks in the city that have both a basketball court and a playground. So as we can see right here, if we click on Briardale Park, there is both a playground and a basketball court. So you can toggle on different amenities that you want to see at the park. So if you want to park with a restroom and a soccer field, you can see that the facilities that we have at the park with, or the facilities that we have within the park system that have a restroom and a soccer field, Commons Park. So you can toggle these options on and off depending on what you're looking for at each specific park. So once again, if you wanna exit out of this, you can click the exit button as well. Um, if you just, if you have no idea which park you really wanna to go to and just kinda of wanna learn more about each and every park that we have in the city, you can click on the yellow dots that represent each park. And this is where you can hop on into these parks and learn a little bit more information. So let's zoom on in. What park do we have here? So this is Oak Hill Park. So if you click on this uh, yellow dot, you're gonna learn a lot more information about the park. So directions to the park, what the address is, the hours, if there's picnic shelters, if there's a playground, all of the different amenities that, that are at that park. If you're just kind of zooming around trying to figure out what's at Sylvan Hills Park, uh, all of that information can, can be found in this park's map. Uh, we really hope that, that you use this parks map to get out uh, and enjoy the parks here in the city of Fridley. Um, it's great if you're, you're out, you can use it on your cell phone as well, very mobile friendly. So if you're driving around, biking around the city, uh, you can pull up uh, which maps uh, and parks you wanna take a look at. So we hope you enjoy this. And if you have any uh, concerns about the parks map, you can go ahead and um, email the city with any changes or concerns about the maps. Um, we hope you enjoy it and see you out in the parks.